Hello everyone and welcome to lecture 3 and today we will be discussing about Appian platform architecture. So in Appian platform architecture we have services, integration, data and interface. So these things like interfaces, integrations and data is connected with the help of services like Apache and application server like Java. Right and to get these services we can authenticate by using SSO or native Appian authentication. So this is just about services, but when we talk about interfaces, integration and data, it's a lot. Right? There is a lot of things inside this, like uh, in interfaces, we have process mining to understand the process, to in-depth analyze the process. And in the designer, we can design all the objects by using all the objects. We can create our own applications and we have sites, app in portal and admin console. So we will see all these things in depth whenever we will be covering these things in lecture and um, for example admin console is the part where we will be doing all the configurations the admin configuration by using admin console and after that we have integrations so whenever we have to co connect something with Appian or let's say uh, we wanted to get some data or send some data we can integrate this Appian system with other external system side. Right? So there are a lot of things like web services, Appian uh, APIs, Appian RPA, RPA, ERP, CSM, Salesforce. So all these are examples and we can connect with anything, right? And we have app market also. So from app market, we can download plugins. So we'll see how we can do that in later videos. Let's move into the data. So in data, we have Appian engines where uh, we will be running all the services of Appian. Appian data types, rules, users, groups, and all. And in the database, we will be storing all the data from our application, right? So we can create tables, views, stored procedures, whatever, whatever we wanted to. So automatically, we have already a database which is MariaDB connected with our Appian. And if we don't want to use that, we can integrate it with the external database also, like MySQL, Oracle, and any other. And we have data services, we have search server, we have file systems and a lot more. So in the file systems, whenever we will be using any documents, images and whatever the file which we are using in our application, we can use file system to use that. And all these things we will see in upcoming lectures. That's all for this lecture.